All right, we're yeah, rooting for them. I yes. love seeing the whole community behind them. That's so cool. Yes, absolutely. Such a tight knit community there, and those football players are just giving them so much life and excitement right now. So you can look out over Tatch, but you see it is drying out. No snow for you as expected. We just got to that really cold mark at our highest elevations at the last minute as the rain was tapering off. So the 58 in the distance moving smoothly. You see that light breaking through the clouds there. Still very gray here on the valley floor, but we're going to continue to break those clouds apart over the next few hours. That's why you can see the radar is really dry out. The last of those clouds pushing down. They're going to bank up against the mountains through about 9, 10 o'clock this morning, and then it'll just be passing cumulus clouds. I love a day when it's raining. I also love the day after when you just get those big, puffy, cartoon-like clouds. So enjoy those today and keep a sweater with you. It will be a cool afternoon as this system passes on by and we get the partly cloudy skies. Then we're tracking our next system on the way for tonight. Now, it's not going to be a direct hit. It's going to open up this trough and drag it very slowly as the center of the storm itself comes on shore over the Pacific Northwest for the next three days. Slow mover out there. So you see cool air coming in. You see those lines are very tight. Those gradients showing you it'll be breezy and windy through our mountain and desert communities. But it's also showing you this trough is digging so far south it's actually going to pick up some relatively warm subtropical water and bring that on shore. With that said, it'll be 60s with showers off and on, but I'm not calling for snow in Kern County, and especially not at our passes, and here's why. For today, you see we're drying out. We're going to have those big, beautiful cartoon clouds, and then later tonight, more rain starts coming in. But see how it's coming up from the southwest? So that's going to come through as rain. Mainly later on tonight, it's going to start up. You may sleep right on through it. For tomorrow, a lot of people concerned because it's such a big day, right? Many people enjoying all of their holiday events. Tatchby has so many fun things planned. It'll be cool, but the rain is off and on throughout the day. You see this rain shadow here, this big bubble of dry air. Most of the rain is going to come over that coastal range and hit the mountains on the other side. So the valley actually just gets scattered showers, whereas most of the rain will be along those slopes that are facing toward the ocean. Up to the north of the county line, you see a little bit of slushy snow. By the time we get into your Saturday, I think the snow level is going to be about 8,000 feet. That doesn't really include anybody in Kern County. By Sunday, it wants to drop down to 7,000 feet, but you see it's scattered in nature by then. So just keep your umbrellas with you all day. And in storm total for tonight, tomorrow, and Friday, all three days, could it be a quarter inch to a half an inch? I think this future cast is getting a little excited. So if you're seeing numbers like this on your phone, I think it's going to be closer to a tenth to a quarter rather than a quarter to a half an inch. As for snow, there it is. Two feet for Mammoth Lakes, but that's about it. No snow for us here on our passes. So Bakersfield 55, 60s with showers for your weekend ahead. Keep your umbrellas with you. Isabella 58 today and we'll keep you in the 50s with that off and on rain. For Tatchby, again, no snow, but chilly today. You're in the 30s now, 40s later, 50s for your weekend.